Today we're talking about one of the most important things when it comes to marketing for a business and one of the things that most people make a mistake in doing and it just hurts you, it hurts your brand, it hurts your marketing and if you're doing this, it's gonna hurt you long term so we're gonna wanna fix it. That's what we're talking about today and we're gonna get to that in just a second. My name is Darren Cabral, I'm the CEO of Suit Social. We're a digital marketing company that helps companies build their brand, generate more leads and get more sales online. We've all seen bad marketing. And almost always, we can recognize it. We recognize it, we look at it, we say, hey, that's, that's terrible, why are they doing that? But oftentimes, we run our own marketing, we don't notice it in ourselves. And there's a common issue that we all kind of fall prey to, I guess. And it's not intentional, and I don't think it's bad, but it's when you run marketing where you focus on yourself. Your marketing focuses on your business, your services, your team, your solution. And it's not focusing on your customer. And so what I wanna kind of go into for a couple minutes here is how switching up your marketing to focus on your customer instead of your own business can have a massive effect on your growth. Whether you're doing social media content, or you're doing an event, or you're running ads, or you're doing TV, you wanna always start from a place of understanding your customer. Who are they? What are their pain points? What do they struggle with? What are their fears, right? What are the things that they're going through in their life that would require them to reach out and use you for your products or your services? you need to really drill down and understand that. Sometimes it starts as simple as who is the customer and drawing that image in your mind. The age, the area, the lifestyle, start there. And then slowly drift into figuring out when they need my service, how are they getting there? So let's say you know, you're a cleaning company, for example. It's not enough to just say, well, people that hire us are people that need their houses cleaned. That's not enough. What causes them to need that? Are they busy professionals because they're so busy with their jobs, with their businesses, and they just don't have time? Is it single bachelors that are just never home and they don't have time to clean and they're at work and they get home late because they work at a big accounting firm, they work till 10, 30 o'clock, they're doing 14 hour days and they need help? Is it like single moms that have kids running around, they just, they can't get a handle on it, there's a lot going on, they need the help? Is it someone that's sick, they have maybe a health problem and they're just not able to take care of their own home and, and it's something that really hurts them and, and they, they want a clean home but they just, they just can't do it. Who is the customer? When you figure that out, you need to think about your advertising speaking to that. So I'll give you an example, continue on the, the, the cleaning topic here. If you were focusing on just yourself as a cleaning company, you could put out some content or an ad that just talks about your cleaning company. Here's how great we are. We use natural ingredients, we use natural products, we clean your house in under 60 minutes, we have a guarantee, we have all these things. That's just focusing on you. That kind of marketing doesn't work, okay? It doesn't connect with people, it doesn't solve a problem, it just tells them about you. Versus, I'll give you a contrast. If I'm a cleaning company, and I know specifically a lot of customers that come to us are people that have recently acquired health problems. I would run more marketing with different messaging around topics like, you have a lot going on right now, you're busy, life is hard, the last thing you need to be worrying about is cleaning your house but you want a clean home, you take pride in a clean home. Let us take one more thing off your plate so that you can focus on what matters most, right, in your life, whether that's the people, the family, the health. That kind of messaging is totally different from here's why we are great. We have the best vacuums and the best cleaners and the best people and the best, that's not solving a problem, right? And so that change affects every level of your marketing. When you figure that out and you focus on the customer, it changes how you write emails. It changes your branding, it changes your website, it changes your social media content, it changes everything about your business when you come from a customer first approach. What are my customers' problems and how am I solving them should be the core of all of your marketing. You do that and you will see a massive change in the way that your advertising connects with people and ultimately generates leads and sales for your business. Because when you solve problems, you get paid. It's always been that way. Try it up, take a moment, take a weekend, take a day, think about your business, think about your customer, what problems can you solve for them and how can you start modifying your marketing now to make it customer first. If you have any questions or wanna know how to do that, don't forget to drop a comment below. We look at all our comments, we read them, we try to answer as many as we can. Don't forget to also subscribe, turn on notifications because we drop videos like this every single week. I'll see you on the next one.